Hey guys, it's John. And Kimmy. I'm trying to get rid of my big stinking attitude. And we're back with Virtue's Last Reward, part 24. I think. <laughs> I think it is. There's no one in the infirmary. <laughs> no Quark and no killer, at least as far as I can see. Oh yeah, in the last episode, uh, we're looking for Quark. We're looking for Quark. This um, is where... Kay betrayed us. We betrayed back. Luna and Alice are dead. Everybody's paired up, so we're with Kay. Temioji is with Clover, and Phi took Dio because no one else would. Yeah. <laughs> well, there is someone here. Technically, at least. Oh, I forgot Kay was with us. You just said that. The old woman. What if she's the killer? Oh, yeah. She was lying silently on the bed, furthest away from us. If it weren't for the bloodstains on her chest and arm, her peaceful expression would have fooled most people into thinking she was just asleep. The blood had dried and darkened, and now looked like any other stain. That was when I noticed it. Huh? Wait a minute. Look at her wrist. It seems remarkably clean. Yeah. For some reason, there's no blood on this part. Maybe she had something on her wrist. A watch, perhaps. A watch? Yes. It was likely removed after she was killed. She had a bracelet. She had a bracelet, but it's gone now. That would account for the lack of blood splatter on her wrist. What does that mean? A watch, huh? I know, it just looks like it was kind of wide for a watch. Are women's watches usually thinner? You raise a good point. Perhaps it was some kind of jewelry? Jewelry? You mean like a bracelet or so- Of course. Why don't I see it sooner? This is the same size and shape as our bracelets. Look, look, it's exactly the same width. Then that would mean- She was wearing a bracelet when she was killed. She was a participant just like us. Are you sure? This old woman, a player in the nonary game. Okay. Is something wrong? Oh, no. Nothing. If you're correct, then where did the thief hide the stolen bracelet? We were quite thorough during our earlier search, but I know that I saw nothing, and none of the others reported finding a bracelet either. Then that means they've been holding on to it this whole time. They probably still got it. That would seem likely. No, wait. If they'd been carrying it around, the sensors in the chromatic doors would have picked it up. Without the right combination of bracelets, the secondary door would never have opened. So our suspect is not only a killer and a thief, but a skilled imposter as well. What are you saying? After killing the old woman, they put on her bracelet. In fact, it is entirely possible they are wearing it still. Yes, that would make sense. So the killer's running around with the old woman's bracelet? Yes. And you're telling me they're probably wearing it? Correct. Do you remember what Zero Jr. told us? Something about how the bracelet will come off if the wearer's heart stops. I don't recall the exact words, but in any event, once the old woman had died, her bracelet would have detached, allowing the killer to easily collect it. Why? So that they could participate in the nonary game, I imagine. What? I suspect the killer was someone who was not originally intended to be a participant. For whatever reason, however, they were willing to go to great lengths to ensure that they were. To that end, they killed the old woman, who was one of the original participants, and took her place. But why would someone do that? That? I have no idea. Certainly they must have a goal of some sort. You would have to be mad to choose to come here. But as to what that goal is, and how the killer intends to achieve it, I'm afraid I do not have even speculation. Hmm. So that's why Tenmyoji knew to spray people's wrists uh, with the lumen lumen soul? Luminol. Luminol. Because he noticed that. So he knows that she's an original participant. And that she was missing a bracelet. And Quark but didn't the, act but like... But it was a bracelet with blood underneath it. Right. 
Quark didn't act like he recognized her. Only Tamioji did. Mm -hmm. I find that interesting. Now, if you remember, in the route where we allied with Luna, and uh, we found Tamioji and Clover dead in the infirmary, and K, K and Dio dead in the rec room, uh -huh. remember what else we discovered? The, what we thought to be Quark's bracelet. Yes. Which I thought was weird. But do you remember what we also did? Because we sprayed something with the luminol. Do we spray Dio's wrist? We sprayed both. Yeah, we sprayed Dio's wrist, and it glowed. Right. Do you really think it's Dio? I'm asking past John, not current John. Well, yes, at this point, when I pieced that together, I was like, Dio has the stolen bracelet. He has the stolen bracelet, but why? Because it he's, means that he, he's so, like, bent to get out of there. It means... Yeah, I know. Dio wasn't... If that... If Dio has the stolen bracelet, that means he wasn't an original participant. But he, for some reason, he wants to win the Nonary game. So he either wants to keep everyone trapped, and this was, like, the only way he could figure out to get everyone trapped, if that's to protect them from the outside, or to keep someone from getting to them, or because he hates them and wants them all to die... Or there's, like, a special something we don't know about winning hmm. that he knows that he wants. Right. Like, if he wins, he gets the uh, uh, shot for Radical Six, and he knows how bad it, like, how much he needs it or something. He gets the fizzy lifting drinks. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> he gets the everlasting gobstopper. <laughs> That's interesting. Have you noticed something? Well, there's blood all over the old lady's arm, except for right here. Since that's where the bracelet was, then the bracelet the killer stole should have blood on it. Right. But none of us is wearing a bloody bracelet. Sigma, please tell me you're kidding. The killer would have, of course, wiped the blood off. Only a fool would walk around with a bracelet covered in blood. So you're saying they cleaned it? Yes. Hmm. Have you discovered something? Okay, I know how we can identify the killer. Oh? We just need some of that luminol. It doesn't matter how well they cleaned it. There should be some traces of blood left. Aha, uh -huh, I see. That could very well work. We should have everyone gather in the rec room then. That is where the luminol was, I believe. Yeah. First we need to finish looking for Quark though. So, uh, Kay's bracelet is in his hand. So that automatically cancels him out. It's it's inside the suit of armor, yeah. Right, which I think is very interesting. I wanted to say that earlier, but I got lost in oh, okay. everything else. Sorry. We've still got the infirmary and everything beyond the green door. Once we're done with that, we can head back to floor B to meet up with everyone else. Understood. Shall we go then? I just imagine them getting in there and turning around at me like... I'm going to press it. <laughs> Is everyone ready? I'm gonna press it. Three, Three two, two, one. I wish I had a million dollars. <laughs> Maybe we can do this on Atlanta. Maybe we'll get to go to Atlanta. I still don't know why you said that. There's three doors here, too. The same as what we found on the other side of the blue door. But... There's two of them open. Hmm. Has that ever happened before? Looks like two of them are already unlocked. So it does. The center and rightmost doors both say open. Perhaps the layout here is different. Hmm. Whatever. Let's take the door on the right first. Yeah! Is it the Golem Bay? <gasps> it is. But he hasn't gone in here yet because that was the other timeline. Yeah. But who has been in the Golem Bay? Because it was open. 
But, but it's the, not solved. No. Look. No, the treatment center is what was yeah. solved. Huh, what's this room? That looks like a workbench of some sort. Maybe, but what sort of work? Well, we're here to find Quark, not look at a workbench. You go check out the far end, all right? Very well. Nothing. He's not here either. The safe is open. Look, the safe is open. And, and Gollum's Go not there. Gollum's not there. Oh. Sh shoot. Hey, Kay. How's it going over there? Kay. Can you hear me? Kay was bent over with his back to me, peering underneath the thing that looked like a workbench. What the hell? I walked toward him as I spoke. Hey, man. What's going on here? Oh, nothing. I bent down and saw he was staring at something that had appeared to be appeared to be a safe. It's empty. Yes. Was there something in there before? No, it was empty when I found it. I bet his key was in it. Was it? Yes. Then what are you doing staring into an empty safe? I was thinking. Specifically, I was thinking about who opened this safe. Wouldn't that have been the team that went through the green door? I think that was Dio, Fi, and Clover. No, that's unlikely. When we met up with Dio, he told us that he had been in the treatment center. The nameplate on this door says this is the Gollum Bay, however. So you're saying they didn't go here? I believe that is the case. Which, as you can see, is why I was puzzled. If Dio, Fi, and Clover did not open the safe, who did? Well, there's no point thinking about it. We should get back. Yes, and there was another unlocked door, wasn't there? Yep. Let's get moving then. He yep. totally found his key. Yep. I like that one Hearthstone commentator. Yep. Yep. Yup. 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 Kim and I were watching the Hearthstone World Championship the other day. That was nuts. That was really cool. Most of the commentators, the casters are really good, but there's one that drives me nuts. Yup. Yup. <laughs> Constantly talking about something in front of his mouth. He's very intense about it all the time. Every draw, he's like, whoa! That's a big draw! And it wasn't. That's a big deal! It's not. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> And then when the other guy says anything, he says, yup, yup, just so we can keep talking. Anyway. So this is the treatment center, huh? This is the room that Dio visited. Don't you think that's kind of strange? Until now, all the chromatic doors have led to a single room each. So why are there two rooms on the other side of the green door? An excellent question. We can talk to the others later, I guess, and see if they know anything. Kay and I split up and began to look for places where Quark might have hidden. Or small holes he might have escaped through. There's that lion eating the sun. Oh, remember? I forgot about that picture. He was eating the sun there. He sounds so smug. Huh? He was eating the sun there. <laughs> Don't say I sound smug. You sounded smug. A little smug. You sound smug. I always sound smug. Yeah, you do. I'm driving crazy. That's not true. This is. Let's break up. <laughs> <laughs> huh? What are these? They must be the treatment pods Dio mentioned. The window's all covered with frost on the inside. I can't see in. Shall we open it? Yes, might as well. Have at it. Sounded like Wally. Wh what? Quark! No. Oh no. His, his bracelet is. Oh god. Hold on, Sigma. Calm down. Look at his chest. Can you see it moving? What? I quickly pressed a finger to Quark's wrist. It was faint, but his heartbeat was there. He's. He's alive. He's alive! What a relief. I'm so glad to know he's safe. 
I laughed out loud and grabbed Kane a bear hug, or at least as much of one as I could manage. He patted me on the back and shared what I thought might have been a relieved chuckle. <laughs> but if he's still alive, why is his bracelet off? Zero Jr. said it would only come off when you die. Perhaps Zero Senior took it off? What? Why? I have no idea. Then, maybe Zero Senior brought Quark here, and put him in this pod thing, too. Well, even if he did, we don't have any way to know why. This pod is for medical treatment. Perhaps Quark has contracted some sort of illness. He's sick? What's he got? Well, how would I know that? In any event, we should return and let the rest of our companions know that we found Quark. I imagine Tenmyoji in particular will be pleased. Yeah, I bet. Do you think you can carry him, or...? No. I believe it would be best to leave Quark here. As I mentioned, there is a chance he has fallen ill. If so, then removing him from the pod would be dangerous. The treatment he is currently undergoing could be compromised. Oh. I'll close the pod's cover then. Is that alright? Yeah. Sure. Wait, um, I just thought of something. Are you sure he's gonna be alright? What do you mean? Well, what happens if he wakes up? Can he open that thing on his own? He'll be fine. I noticed a lever inside that can be used to open the cover. So long as no one locks the pod, he should be able to leave whenever he wants. But if someone locks him in, he's screwed. Yes, that is what I said. But you needn't worry. You see, my eyelash. I have not engaged the lock. Now, we should return to the Floor B warehouse. I imagine the others are already there. Right, yeah. Okay, let's go. You okay? Yeah, something in my eyelashes. So, somebody's got K's key. Potentially not- Potentially K. We found Quark with no bracelet, which is interesting. Hmm. Ten minutes. Wait. You're one to talk. How much earlier did you get back again? I'd be surprised if you searched at all. The zit? Yeah. Clover and Ten Miyoji still aren't back. So, find anything? Yeah, we sure did. Yeah? Well, go on, spill it. I explained to them how he'd found Quark in the treatment center. I see. Well, that's good to hear. Little jerk, making us all worried. There is more. And that is? There is still some cause for concern. Just spit it out. Quark may have contracted an illness of some sort. As such, he has been left in the treatment pod. Will he be all right? Yeah, no, probably. Probably? Do you even... Whatever, at least we found him. Pretty lucky he's alive, too. What do you mean by that? I mean what I said, genius. I'm glad he's not dead, aren't you? As equivocal as ever, I see. <laughs> How kind of you to say so. So, was Quark all you found? The way you were talking made it sound like there was something else. Yeah, I'll explain that after Temioji and Clover get back. There's something I wanted to ask you about first, though. When you went through the green door, did you search two different rooms? Two? No, just the treatment center. I see. Then what was the other one? What do you mean, the other one? You know where there's that intersection with three doors? Well, when Kay and I went there, two of the doors were unlocked. You guys unlocked the one that went to the treatment center when you went through the green door. But the other one... Who could have opened it? Don't look at me. I told you, we only opened the one that went to the treatment center. Could it have been Zero Senior? I don't know. Hmm. So did you and Kay go through the other door? Yeah. What was in there? Nothing, really. It appeared to be some sort of room for servicing something. That doesn't make any sense. So what the hell was whoever opened that door looking for? Who knows? 
That was the worst explanation of what they found. Yeah, I know. It was servicing something. Team and Clover well, are running rather late. I mean, there was like but a like, workbench and like a. There was a big computer, computer workbench. There were, or no, the workbench with the safe open, which is a really key thing to. Right, but I don't think they wanted to like make anybody panic when they're not even. They they're claiming to not know anything about the room. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. I don't think they want to be like, there's a mysterious room that none of you know about, and there was an open safe. Should we go and look for them? No. Something I want to check first. It's never easy with you, is it? Well, let's get it over with. Something I want to check. So I guess we're all going to the rec room. For the luminol experiment. Huh. This is the rec room. Dio and I came here earlier when we were looking for Quark. So why are we here? Was there something here you needed to see? I said nothing. Instead made my way over towards the cabinet. Inside was the luminol. Reached in and pulled it out. Then head to the light switch and flipped it. The room went dark, and I headed back to where the others were. Still standing. Whoa, whoa, what is this? You gonna start telling ghost stories or something? Why, you scared of ghosts? <laughs> You're kidding me, right? Then show me how brave you are. Stick out your bracelet. You too, Fi. Please. Our bracelets? Yeah. I want to see the underside of them. What do you mean by that? I mean the side on the bottom. The side that doesn't have the display on it. Come on, you really gonna make me explain this? I know what you mean. What I'm asking is what the hell you think you're... Just do it. It's not hard. Should I also participate? No, you're fine, Kay. Your bicycle is a little different from ours. But I'll join in just to make it fair. There was a brief moment of hesitation before Dio and Bai stuck out their arms. I held mine out as well, wrist pointed upward. This okay? Yeah. Just hold it like that for a moment. As fast as I could, I pulled the luminol from my pocket and sprayed it across all three of our wrists. Ugh, cold. What the hell, man? Dio jerked his arm back with a shout. Don't see anything glowing. Vi's bracelet is clean. So is mine, of course. That leaves only Dio. Wait, what are you talking about? I'll explain in a minute. Show me your bracelet. Something wrong? Just show it to me. Come on, Dio. We don't have time for this. Why do I have to do what you tell me to? Because I'm trying to prove your innocence. Well, like hell you are. I don't know what you're looking for. But you're not gonna find it on me. Then just show me your arm. No! You don't get to order me around. I have rights! As he spoke, Dio made a break for the exit. He didn't get far. I'm afraid I can't let you do that, Dio. <laughs> oh my god. 2001 A Space Odyssey. I was just gonna say, hey, Hal. <laughs> I'm afraid I can't let you do that, Dave. He spun around toward the other exit. Stop him! Right! Don't know what you're talking about, but okay. <laughs> but okay. All three of us left of Dio. I knew it. His bracelet's glowing. And that means... Let me go! Get off of me, you fuckers! That was animation with the characters. I know, right? That's like the first time that's happened. Dio, you killed the old lady. No! You don't understand. This is all some kind of... a mistake. Shit! What's going on here? I think it's about time you gave us the full story. As quickly as I could, I explained to Fi what Kay and I had noticed on the old woman's wrist. So the person with the bloody bracelet would have to be the person who killed her. Yeah, exactly. No, they're just the person who took the bracelet. Even if they'd wiped it off, I figured the luminol would still react to the blood. Looks like I was right. We've got you now, Dio. You might as well confess. Well? 
All right, fine. You caught me. I did it. I killed the old bitch and took her bracelet. Why? Are you Zero? No. I was under orders. I was sent here to... To do... something. To do what? Who gave you this order? I'll die before I tell you. So your orders were more important than Alice and Luna's lives. Whoa, whoa, let's not get ahead of ourselves. I killed the old lady, but that's it. I don't know anything about what happened to Alice and Luna. That wasn't you. Tread carefully, Sigma. This man is not to be trusted. He has already shown he is willing to lie and kill. Come on, I'm telling the truth. You gotta believe me. Even if we do believe you, you're still a killer. You just haven't killed as many people. Exactly. He should be restrained somehow. If we leave him be, he may well kill again. But where would we put him? Is there a room we can lock or anything? Ah, perhaps we could put him in one of the treatment pods. Once we've locked it, he should be unable to escape. Oh yeah. Hey, wait! I'll be good, I, I promise! I'd rather be locked in a room. Yeah, I think you're onto something, Kay. Let's go with that. Come on, please! Hey, listen to me! We'll let you out when the white doors open. Someone's gonna need your bracelet to open the secondary door. Don't fuck with me, you guys! There's no way in hell I'm going in that thing! Let go! Let me go! God damn it! I told you assholes to let me go! You can't do this! Stop! Stop! Please stop! Please! No, you can't! Kay's just like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shut up. Kay's just like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Scoops him up like a little bit of baby. Yeah, it's been locked. Open this fucking thing! <laughs> I said open it, goddammit! Oh my god, that would freak me out so bad. I don't think so. Ugh, you're gonna pay for this! When I get out of here, I'm gonna fucking end you! Okay. Can we check on Quark? Just make sure he's still in there. So, I guess we figured out who the murderer was. Then we found Quark. Now all that's left to do is find Clover and Tenmyoji. Yeah. Why don't we head back to the warehouse and start from there? They may have already returned. Good point. Let's go. So we're going back to warehouse A. We said we'd meet. I thought we were gonna meet in warehouse. Oh no, this is me. Bing. Warehouse B. Not A. Not A. Huh. Looks like they aren't back yet. Perhaps they went to look for us. Oh man. Now we've got to go look for them. How much time until the white doors open? 50 minutes. Then I don't think we really need to hurry yet. Why don't we wait a little longer? For all we know, they're on their way back right now. Kay and I nodded. By the way, there was something I wanted to ask you guys about. Oh yeah? Yeah. Quark's bracelet. When we found him in the pod, he wasn't wearing it. Why? How should I know? Presumably, it had been taken off before we found him. So we have no idea where it is. Pretty much. I see. That's not good. Without that bracelet, we won't be able to continue the game. What? We need three bracelets to open the secondary door. Mm. If we lose one... Oh no. We wouldn't be able to go through the secondary door. Yeah. Who would be pairing up with Quark? Quark's bracelet should be a red solo. That would mean he'd be with the cyan pair. Who's the cyan pair? Clover and Tenmyoji. The two people who are missing. Quark's bracelet is gone, and his two teammates have disappeared. What's going on? Does that mean Clover and Tenmyoji took the bracelet? Well, if they found Quark before you did, 
Yeah, there's a good chance they did. Then, why aren't they back yet? Perhaps they've already gone through the white door. What? No, that's not possible. The primary doors haven't even opened yet. Perhaps someone opened one of them. How? I don't know. But it's happened before. Hmm. Remember like the they three doors gone? on the other side of the green door? Someone made one of them open. Perhaps this is the same thing. But... But that's against the rules. Yes, I know. But if the person opening the doors is Zero Senior, do you really think the rules matter? Zero Senior controls the entire game. So are you saying Clover or Tenmyoji is Zero Senior? It is a possibility. It would explain why they still haven't shown up. Could they really have taken Quark's bracelet and gone through one of the white doors? If they did, we won't know where they went until the door is open for the rest of us. So I would assume. This is still all just speculation, though. Maybe we should go look for them again. One of us can stay behind so that we don't miss them if they come back. Okay. I'll stay. Sigma and I will go see if we can find them then. Make sure you get back five minutes before the door opens, all right? Oh. And don't forget to bring Dio with you. Of course. Boo. Boo. Boo, Dio. Boo. Are going into the pantry. We still haven't been able to play this one. No, we haven't. We uh, will. I'm sure it's in Alice's timeline. So, this may seem odd, but I think this is a good stopping point. Already? Okay. I mean, we're about 30 minutes in. Alright. Not every episode's gonna be an hour. Ooh, that's a good point. Okay. Um, because I think, I'm basically, I think we're looking at either doing half an hour or an hour and a half right now. Uh, we don't really have an hour and a we half really to spare. We have an hour and a half to spare. So that's the main reason why I'm saying we should do it. That sounds good. But uh, we'll be back on Wednesday. Um, some fairly significant revelations, though, in this episode. Yeah. Dio admitted to killing the old woman. Because he was sent there on a mission. So he somehow, like, snuck in. He's kind of like seven. Somehow, yeah. Somehow he snuck in. And killed the old woman, stole her bracelet, and... Zero Jr. didn't say anything. Posed as one of the participants. Yeah, Zero Jr. Zero Jr. knew his name. Right? They called him B.O., which means they would know that his name is Dio. Yeah. So... I mean, maybe... I don't know. Interesting. It's odd. They didn't say anything about the old woman. It's almost as if... Uh, Zero expected all of this to happen. Right. It was like, all right, I know Zero, what you're doing. whoever Zero is, they knew that the old woman would die and that Dio would replace them. Right. Who's the old woman? I want to know who she is so badly. There are clues. But, Have we uh, already seen some clues? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think she. There have been a lot of clues, actually. But, uh... I anyway, think she's that's June. That's all I'll say. You think she's June? I think she's June. Hmm. That would make the most sense. Why is she old, though? Because Tenmyoji's old. But why is Tenmyoji old? He had the picture of her. There's some time-bending stuff going on. Hmm. So in, so in this case, you think the old woman's June and Tenmyoji is Junpei. And they're old for some reason yes hmm. because it's possible that Clover and Alice got locked in the pods and kept young and woken up um, years later mm -hmm. and they're just told that it's the year 2028 or whatever I don't remember the so year numbers us Clover and Alice were in the pods? Yeah. What about Phi, though? 
Didn't she say she was kidnapped around the same time? So a deal, but I think we can kind of call that into question now. Right, we can't trust him. I don't think we know enough about Fi to really like, trust her. Right. It doesn't seem like Dio was kidnapped then, if our theory is correct. Right. Even though he said, I think it was the 20th when they were talking about dates. Mm-hmm. When he's just like, uh, uh, yeah, me too. Yeah. Yeah. Weird. Huh. Lots to think about. Interesting. But we'll find out more on Wednesday. We'll find out a lot more, actually. Yay! So we'll see you guys then. Think critically. <laughs>